Restart. This was the start of our trips after pandemic slowed down. We were absolutely delighted as we wanted to see the rest of the world again and experience what it has to offer. And we did just that. Yes, this is uploaded late as this was filmed last Christmas, but you know what? Fucking Memories Brian, always said, I'm last. Here for you. I'm here for you. <laughs> Okay, let me keep day one short and simple. This is me at 3 a.m. in the morning for a flight around 7 a.m. or 8 a.m. I pull up the ticket and put it on the screen. And we went to the airport because we didn't want to be late, basically, for that flight. You know what I mean? So we waited at the airport, grabbed some food and some hot chocolate or some drink, whatever we can find, and then waited for our plane to arrive to take us to Berlin. When we arrived at Berlin, we had to take a train to the city center, can't pronounce that, to the city center, and pay 330 euros each, which is not expensive at all. Just in case you guys want to know which hotel we're staying at, how much it costs, and what it looks like, here is the hotel from booking.com. I absolutely love this hotel. The view was amazing. It's probably one of my favorites. I mean, I did say in the video it's my favorite. <laughs> Hi everyone! We just arrived at our hotel in Berlin and I must say this hotel is already one of my favorite hotels we've stayed at for all of our trips because we have a nice view, we are on the upper floor, the view from up here from our room, look at that. <gasps> Oh, you're so lucky. That's really nice. I'm very happy right now. This is why I miss traveling and I love traveling because you can see so many great things. This is us, we're just chilling, taking a break, getting our nap in so we can potentially go out, which I never did because I'm exhausted. Alright everyone, it's a little cloudy outside, obviously you probably can't see it, but we are heading out and we're gonna explore Berlin. I haven't been here, Josh has been here before because he was here for three years. Not specifically in Berlin, but in Germany. First time and I'm ready to explore, so let's go ahead and do it! This is the east side of the Berlin Wall. There's a lot of significance and importance of all these murals that you can see on the wall. In 1949, there's a lot of struggles and conflicts. If you're planning to visit Berlin, I suggest you look it up so you can educate yourself. All right, everyone, we are heading to Berlin, the center. I mean, we're in Berlin. We're heading to the city center, so we're walking today. The tower is where we are heading. Now we're gonna grab some breakfast, right? but it's not too bad really. I don't even have gloves with me. We're gonna find food. It's already almost 11 a.m. We haven't found food yet, but... We found plenty. You just want to find another one. Plenty of options, so let's continue. Thanks.
One of the things I love about Germany is that there's just so many bakeries everywhere and a lot to choose from. So we finally found this place and I'm excited to bite that bread. It's oozing. Can I have some? Wow. <laughs> Thank you. This actually hits different and it's quite sad because I've seen movies of it and read about it and the history so it kind of hits different seeing this in real life On a positive note, we continued our trip that day and I have told Josh I am not walking so we need to go to the metro or the station to get tickets so we can go to our next place because my feet hurts. We've walked too much. Oh. Validated. What is your confession? You really need to learn how to ride the bike that I bought you. Okay, what's it? What's in it for me? Learning how to ride a bike. We bike together holding hands. Okay. <laughs> uh, there's the bubble tea place. Of there. course, of course, I cannot forget to get some bubble tea. This is the first of the three bubble tea that I had on that trip. Um, yeah, I'm Asian. What can I say? Have a great day. And of course, you cannot miss out Bratwurst. It is delicious. It's one of my favorite food when we visit Germany, especially during Christmas because Bratwurst is everywhere and you can eat it with hot chocolate or glühwein. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. This is Josh's favorite place here in Berlin. Let's go. Definitely don't miss out on this place when you visit Berlin. This is called District Moth. Josh brought me here because this is one of his favorite places when he's in Berlin. They serve Vietnamese food, so if you are in love or if you like, Asian food, definitely give this place a try. The atmosphere, the vibe is just pretty dang cool and the food was good too. Good morning everyone! My eyebrows is bugging me, it's not, ah. it's not uniform. Anyways, I'll fix that later. Today is our last full day in Berlin. Tomorrow you will have a half day I believe because we will be flying back to England around 6 p.m. Yeah, we're gonna We're gonna check some market halls today. Christmas stores, hopefully, because I really wanna buy something from Berlin. We're gonna bring you guys with us again. Day three, let's get it. So we didn't really do much on the third day because we saw what we wanted to see. We went back to Wittenberg Platz which has tons of shopping areas or stores so we were wanting to see what we can find and bring back home to England. Walk continues and we went to Hackershire Market Berlin. I do apologize, I know I might have mispronounced that word. I don't know much about German but I promise I will learn one day. 
Anyways, we went to this restaurant called Resta Restaurant 1840. It's one of the best decisions we've had on that trip because even though the food is out of our budget, it was absolutely delicious. Anyways, so Josh got his beer, I got my drink, and this is the food that I got. Mind you, I don't really like mashed potatoes, but this changed my mind. Really good. I think this is my favorite part of our trip. This food at this place, I'm happily gonna pay 16 euros for this because it's good. Here we are at night in Berlin, and on our back is the I'm gonna call it Berlin Gate. I know it's Brandenburg. <laughs> it was an eventful day. We're in some scamming today, but it wasn't too bad because I know it was a scam anyway. But here we are. It looks nice at night. <laughs> today is the last day of our trip in Berlin. That means we have to check out from this lovely hotel that we have that me boo booked and he did such a good job because he found a really nice hotel for a reasonable price. I'm so sorry for this bed. He doesn't like the bed though. He is very into a comfortable bed. So for me, I'm like, I'm used to sleeping on the floor before when I was back in the Philippines and just sleep in a banig. It's like a mat. All these water bottles has taxes. So if you return them, you get your money back. This is my second dorm in Europe. First one is in Austria. Alright, so I'm gonna call this scam alert. So I just wanna share the experiences that we had when we were in Berlin. We had experienced two scams. The first scam, these all happened around the Berlin Cathedral. There was this guy that came up to us. So he looks like a traveler. He has a suitcase with him and he was asking Josh if he could borrow his phone because he wanted or he needed to look for his hostel and his phone is dead. Josh said, no, I'm so sorry. I don't have any data. And after we walk away from that guy, I told Josh, oh, why didn't we help him? And he told me um, it, it was a scam. So the second scam, it also happened around that area where the little bridge is. So after a dinner on the third day we were going to see Berlin at night because you know it's romantic at night all the city lights this dude literally put a transparent coin holder in the middle of walkway where you're not gonna be able to see and we were just walking and minding our own business and yeah I accidentally kick on a coin holder with some coins in it and he was like, oh, blah, blah, blah. Like he said something and did not understand. Josh is such a nice person. Picked up the coins and he gave him 25 cents. Be aware of your surroundings and beware around that area. 